Hey, what's up guys, Muffy here. So, today we are going to be learning how to do horizontal bubble rings underwater. So, if you haven't seen my, um, learning how to blow bubble rings underwater video, which is the regular way, um, just, you're on the bottom and the bubbles go up. This one's a bit different and arguably more difficult. Um, basically they go horizontal, so crossways they don't go up eventually they do obviously but but yeah let's get into it okay so basically this guy is going to show us kind of a bit of technique that he does um i've been doing it like that like so you blow and then open your wrist to i don't know put speed into it but I think he was saying to do that, let's just take a look here. These are trickier and can take some time to master. They get very affected by waves or current moving them around, so they can only really be done in calm water. These rings are actually made by our knuckles, and it's the circular shape of our okay, knuckles yeah, so that create the ring. You put your hands together so that your middle knuckles are touching on the knuckles, inside of your mouth. You blow just a tiny amount, and as you do, you bring your hands and your knuckles out so to, keep to create the ring. Straight. Now the tricky and part with all of this is like the movement of your actual hands. You need to keep them. So as you can see, it's not quite as smooth and um, better looking, I suppose, as the ones that float up, the vertical ones or whatever. But you can see they kind of wobble in and out and they actually have a bit of speed to them um like you can feel it if it hits you or whatever but yeah we're gonna just hop in the pool see how we go one thing i forgot to mention is whales can make vertical bubble rings and dolphins also do horizontal ones too so that's cool okay so we've got the weight belt three lead weights this time so we should stay under because I've tested it out. Um, probably don't do this. Don't, well, yeah, don't do this unless someone's with you or, you know, watching or whatever. Especially with a weight belt, because if you black out or weather, whatever, you're not just going to float up. Um, okay, got the marks. Let's jump in. Okay, it's the next day, day two, and um, basically yesterday that was pretty good. Um, you can kind of see the ring shape, but now um, I was looking at his technique more, and I'm going to give that a better shot, and yeah, hopefully we can get some bubbles that last and go distance, so let's jump in. Okay, so this is a dive I did with my dad at Swansea Bridge on the weekend. I thought it would look good for some background footage, but um, yeah. So, after two days of practicing, I think I'm doing alright. Um, I think that my technique is still not that good, but I've been watching more tutorials. I think I know what I need to work on next time we get in the water, so I think we should just do that right now.
Okay, so after trying for a few days, not every day, but when I try, you know, I just add up the days. But, um, yeah, nothing really changes. No new techniques. It's just been the same, but I think this time something clicked, and I guess just repetition, practicing over and over. So let's check it out. Okay, so this is day four or five, I can't remember. And I think I've got something here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so unfortunately daylight savings is over and yeah, so that's why it's dark. I'll brighten it up now. <laughs> So yeah, after everything, this is the summary, basically, I played around with that technique, and then this one, and I found that the original way, that way, just worked better, even though I, I think I've tried to do this, maybe even a bit more, um, you know, keep your knuckles like that. But you only have like a small amount, I feel like this way, more force somehow, I don't know. But yeah, I just feel like you just get the feel for it eventually and I learnt it. So yeah, uh, yeah, my technique's not the best, um, but I, I think it's safe to say I've learnt it. But yeah, I could definitely improve. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, yeah, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Let me know what other videos I should do and peace.